Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our King of Jerusalem campaign. So, it's 1533. It's been not even 100 years. We went from a one-province miner to blah. And now we're going to tech up. We're going to wait a few more years so that we can attack. We'll go speed 5 while we wait for claims and stuff. Basically, just cycling back and forth on claims. Just diplomats, just constant claim, claim, claim. So, we'll get our diplomat. We'll go on that one next. Wait until the next diplomat gets back. I don't need to attack anyone other than in these two countries. I mean, this whole thing was just kind of a diversion, something to do to, uh, I don't know, give us some more troops. We got 11 troops over there. Considering I only have four troop, 40 troops altogether, this does give me like another 20 regiments, these two vassals. So that's 50% that's more strength. That's really good. I like marches. So I, I said a while back, like probably... 10 videos ago at this point, that if this campaign didn't work out, I had another plan. And my plan was, with the opening move, you know, taking Constantinople, Maria, and Athens, just like we did in this campaign, I would have created uh, Maria as a vassal. I would have created Athens as a vassal. They don't have the claim anymore. Um, actually, Maria, I think, has... I don't know. I, I, I would have, we basically would have created Byzantium and then, like, one or two other vassals as marches. And just see if having multiple marches could give us an edge while we don't have any ally, uh, any ability for alliances. But I kind of got to mess around with it a little bit by creating these two marches. I gotta say I'm a fan. Great Britain's declared war on Scotland. You think France is still stupid enough to be allied with Scotland? Indeed they are. Okay, have fun France. You're gonna lose to Great Britain again. Trying to play on speed 5 with um, Iron Man mode. Quite laggy. Dumyat. So the actual things that we need for the mission are what? Nablus, Gaza, and Al Quds. These these ones right here. We could take those in the we could do that in the next war, honestly. Just take all of the coasts, including those two. And we actually have a truce with them. That that truce comes up before the truce with the Ottomans. Muscovy's declared on Crimea. Well, let's make a big push. We're going to do both wars roughly around the same time. Truce with you is up in 37, I think. November of 37 and May of 38. Yeah, so sure enough, it is. It's... They're both about the same time. Unrest is not too bad. And Tease and Techie. That separatism will be gone before you know it. Local traditions, the Liberation Act, Knights Hospital. I mean, that's minus 10 just between tolerance and those. If it wasn't for increased centralization, we could practically just completely offset the uh, the unrest that you get from lowering autonomy. Hey, naval force limit, sweet. Suddenly, we're not paying a stupid amount of money for being over the force limit, so we can build even more boats. Is that... Are those the only ones we have? Nope, we have more shipyards here, too. Oh, we have shipyards in these ones. Nice. It's 
a lot of extra boats. Can't reach any farther on the Ottomans. So I guess we take, like, Philip. Two years to go. Increased centralization just expired, so... That means our conversion of strength is a little bit down, but we can still manage it. And that also means that the unrest should go down in, like, Sugla or Teki. Because that was 1%. Yeah, it's just a little bit of separatism now. And Ottomans is trying to westernize. The state entered into a military coalition against Switzerland. A lot of people just entered into a military coalition against Switzerland. We don't want to get involved in that. I just want to focus on getting this done. Okay, with less than two years to go, Poland has asked us, asked us to attack Pomerania Mat. Sure, why not? That seems a bit excessive, Poland. We're here in in spirit. I'm just gonna wait until more of these boats are done. Maybe not. We now have 50% control of Constantinople. Our competitors are the Ottomans still, and I wish I had them embargoed. My gosh, I can't believe I forgot to do that again. Let's fabricate a claim on Corfu. Reach that one, huh? Ooh, it's a rival of a rival mission. I like these. Make Tunis like us. Could happen. Okay. We're now into. Uh, 1537, which is going to be the year that we can attack the Mamluks. 38. Just barely into 38 is when we can attack the other guy. The Ottomans. Eighty-two out of fifty-nine force limit, only costing 1.9 ducats a month. Seems reasonable. The more money we make, the mess, less money they make. Okay, that war's over. Great. Good job, Poland. Glad you spent your offensive call to arms so that I could help you with that. We'll cancel this extra ship. It's taking too long. Okay, so the question is, if we attacked, um... If we attacked Mamluks, Spain would join. And we would definitely be able to beat them. And then we, yeah, I think it's just gonna work out perfectly. We just attack with Spain against them. Truce expires in November. I suppose um, we could probably start fabricating one more claim. We need to keep one diplomat free here while we're in between the two months. Alright, so now we declare the war um, today. We're low on maintenance, but it doesn't matter yet because we're going to have... Our boats help out. Actually, it says we're going to break truce. Let's just pay for uh, these ships. We have a, a thing there. We don't. 
How far can you get? Why don't you head down to Crete? So if we're going to start the war with the Mamluks... Do you think that the Mamluks are going to end up having access to the Ottomans if we attack them both at the same time? Whatever, I don't really care. Let's just attack them. We'll make the war over... A non-fort, which he doesn't have any coastal forts. Actually, he does. Oh, that's Ottomans. We'll make it over, like, Tarana or something. Because that's the way that the the Spanish are probably the most likely to come in. Plus, it's all flat terrain here. So it should be really easy to conquer and fight in a big battle here. So, Tarana. Got plenty of strength. Um, he's on Tech 9, we're on Tech 11. We've got full offensive ideas. Only seven transports. I think my, uh... Here, let's, let's go fight his navy. He's coming into where? Agen C? Oh, that's where we are. I'd almost prefer to, like, hide my navy for a second. So that he might try to load troops up. Let's let him. That would help out tremendously. And right on time, we just finished our last conversion. That would actually be a better one, but I already started it, so... Okay, Spain, are you going to come and uh, kill everything for me? Load troops up, please. He has not done it yet. Come on, you know you want to. Never mind, looks like we're killing his navy. I don't even think we need these galleys. He's just... We need a landing ground. Oh, hey, Spain's over here. Cool, we can use those. Take our 3-5 over to Spain. Truce just expired. I want to have more transports. I don't want to just be dealing with a couple. Eleven more should be fine. Why not? Eighteen stacks seems good. Oh hey, Ottomans have embargoed us. I want to embargo them. I'm going to forget. Well, he's sending his whole army west. Maybe we should just come in this way. Now, if I tried to declare a second war like at the exact same time, it's not going to work. So we do need this war to end relatively quickly, so we can start the next one before Poland tries to call us into their version of the war. Why don't we land and put some troops on Malta? And then when we get the opportunity to, we can move a huge number of men back and forth really quickly, assuming that we actually have control, which we don't. No access to the Ottomans. <laughs> Spain, you need to bring, bring sufficient support, please. Six, six artillery, or six, six uh, horses is a bad idea. Our 50 lights are not even going to take a loss, are they? Nope. 
Wow. Wow. Suddenly, we are so far ahead of time. I mean, he's on tech 9. I could be on tech 12. Just show up and beat the snot out of him. I really, really dislike spending the spending points on that, though. Even when it's a short-term thing, like, I just don't... just don't like it. Clearly, we have military access through Spain, uh, through Tunis. So, assuming that's the whole 20 stack. Let's start to bury them to, like, here. We get the 20 stack down in Africa. And we march it east. Are you killing my transports, really? Damn it. Fine. If you're going to be like that, I will kill your navy, okay? Opportunistic little shit. That's just irritating. Even Genoa has rivaled them. Wow. Wait, what? Did that say what I thought it said? Yeah, Portugal rivaled Hungary. Sure. That makes sense. I guess. Okay, well, if you're if you're just going to do that, I'm going to just invade over here then. Because you're annoying me. Your stupid things. Alright, so we'll have plenty of transports. Looks like, yeah, Spain's finally showing up in force. They've got two two star generals. They're going to take care of the south. I'll just auto-transport the 20 stack over here. We'll move on Halab. We'll go that route. I think I might have been overthinking it. Ah, crap, military points! As much as I hate spending to be ahead of time, I hate even more wasting points, so... Hmm. 300 extra points to have this tech early. Is it really worth it? I guess. Whatever. Let's just do it. I almost never do this. We're the first country in the world with tech 12. Revolutionary troops. And we've got tons of artillery. Nice. So the goal is to just absolutely wreck them so that they'll quickly surrender. Give me tons of, tr tons of land. Spain, I need you to transfer control of everything, by the way. Don't you dare get greedy. That's my job. Look at that, 18 years ahead of time. Of course, he's being a bastard with his dumb little ships again. So this huge, huge tactics bonus means we have pretty quick siege ticks. Even though he's got local fortifications and he's pious. I mean, that, that's a pretty quick siege tick considering those defense bonuses that he has. The province itself has 44% defensiveness. Of course, you're gonna land without troop, without uh, a leader, aren't you?
horrible, horrible leader in charge now. We do kind of need some devotion. Okay, I'm gonna take a short break here, and in the next video we'll probably end up finishing this achievement run. That's the goal at least. I don't know how fast I can do it, but I'll try. So, thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.